Hello and welcome to Hobby Quick. In this short video, I'll be showing you how to make really simple tabletop standard swamp slash bog bases um, for your war game of choice. Um, I'm collecting Cruel Boys for Age of Sigma, and I came up with this idea really quite straightforward, just um, some technical sterling mud and some pre-made base topping materials. This is from Geek Gaming Scenics. Um, I've got a really quick review of this uh, stuff um, further down the, the playlist there. Highly recommend it. It's really good. It works straight out of the pot. Absolutely fantastic. So let's just get straight to it. Um, on your base, you will want to apply some PVA glue and then apply your base topping material of choice in any fashion that you want. Um, just you know, make it look as random as you like or as, as however you want. Yeah, simple, really straightforward. Um, once that is dry and set, you're then really ready to start applying your um, sterling mud. Now, here's an example of my um, Cruel Boys. Um, this is the Merc Knob Belcher Banner uh, dude. So you can see here um, the same process. Um, the idea from my guys is the hero units are on the more corrupted areas because they're probably nearer the, the Swamp Caller Shaman and the rank and file guys are going to have a little bit more of the um, grass and normal earth sort of stuff going on there. Um, this is two layers of the technical paint just to give it a bit more depth and a bit more relief. Um, and I've also used a grass tuft just to go over the little hole that's in the base. Um, and it really is that straightforward. <laughs> Like, I'm not joking when I said this is a quick video. It's literally just get a bit of that on there. Um, when that's dry, apply your layers. Go for as many as you like. Um, I also wash the dark a bit there, which represents a slightly deeper bit. I put on a wash of wildwood. Um, and I'm also going to be putting a wet look effect on some of the boss models, I think, just to test that out, see how that looks. The lighter spots here were just a little test I did before hitting record. Uh, do excuse my dry nails, it is just getting into autumn and winter here and it's I, I, <laughs> I've got dry skin, sorry. Um, the lighter patches here um, were applied, just blobs um, of sterling mud on top of the already um, uh, applied um, basic material uh, and I think that looks quite good as well. Um, I was going for a um, corruption look uh, as if my guys are invading the um, realm of life or or something along those lines um so you've got these nice verdant plains and then these guys are coming and just absolutely uh, wrecking the joint and so you can see here is a um cruel boy who i've applied the um basic materials on and then the mud uh, mud effect will be going on the rest of the base one thing i do with my bases is apply a layer of this matte black from the army painter um i just feel it gives a really good base for any pva you might be sticking on there um or any any sand any uh, anything at all goes on i just feel like it just gives a, a, a bit more of a, a secure uh, fix and also it looks really good when it's painted on and dried around the sides of the rim of the base it's like the matte black it just uh really sets it off but doesn't draw the eye too much because it's not too glossy um so there we go. That's enough of me uh, waffling on about that one. Uh, so have fun. If you like short um, hobby based content, then please consider subscribing, liking, even sharing it. Um, and yeah, have fun with it and stay out of my swamp.